Hi everyone and welcome to another tutorial here on unitycookie.com. Uh, this is just another uh, in the NGUI mini-series uh, we're doing to get everyone up to speed on NGUI, which is an awesome uh, method for creating Unity uh, GUI within Unity. Uh, so in this case, I just want to look at another uh, slightly technical thing uh, that's a little bit hard to find info on, uh, or definitely was for me when I was uh, getting used to NGUI. Just make this nice and obvious for everyone. So fonts. Uh, with NGUI, you can import any font at all, do all sorts of great things with it, but getting there can be a little bit tricky. Um, the first thing you'll need to do, uh, if you're going to have a custom font in your game, which you definitely should, uh, is get this BM font, bitmap font generator, and you can get that uh, simply from uh, it's angelcode.com slash products slash BM font. So right here, angelcode.com slash products slash BM font. And just click on the download installer, uh, whichever the newest version is they're showing there. So once you have that, just go ahead and launch up the program. And you're going to go ahead and create a font. And it'll just open up with whatever your basic font is. And we have various settings in here that we need to um, just get just right. And I got all my settings from the NGY, uh, one of their tutorials that I found, and I found that works good. Uh, no need to change it for the most part. So once you have uh, the BM font up and running, just go to Options, Font Settings. And first we'll take a look at this, and I'll let the screen pause for a second so you can copy as you need. Um, mainly, font uh, the face is just uh, the font that you want to use. So let's say I want to have uh, maybe this font. And then uh, pretty much leave everything alone here, um, if, unless you see something different. Um, the pixel size, uh, you know, set to whatever you need. That'll take a little bit of just sort of playing around in game to see what pixel sizes you need. You do unfortunately need a different pixel size for each and every size of font. It doesn't scale dynamically. Uh, it can scale, but it gets a little ugly. So it, it, what I'm trying to say, I guess, is if you're going to have multiple sizes of, of fonts, uh, you'll want to do, you know, like 28, 32, and 48. I think we did for each sheep. Uh, so you'll just want to mess with that number there. Um, everything else, pretty straightforward here. Uh, you'll see, of course, once you set that font, now it's changed and it's showing uh, my font down here, right there, so I can see uh, which one I'm using. Uh, next thing we have is the export options. This gets a little more tricky. Just make sure your settings match all of this, especially the glyph here. Exporting as a targa, the font descriptors, text, uh, bit depth 32, uh, and all of these up here the same. So one thing, we have the texture size, the width and height. And this is going to export uh, all of these little characters into one big texture. So this you can change depending on, um, you just want to get as tight and close as possible so you aren't wasting any space in that texture. Uh, you can see how that looks if you go Options, Visualize, and it'll show. And I can see here, whoa, this is actually way too small for what I have selected. The fonts uh, are probably running off the edge. I don't think there's enough room there at all. So if we go back to export options, and I'm going to change the height to 256. Remember to keep powers of 2 if possible. Hit OK. And now let's go back to visualize. And I can see now that all my fonts uh, or font items are fitting inside of the box. Uh, and it doesn't look like I could cut any off. If it was by 128, this would be cut in half, so I'd lose all of that. So forth. So there you have it. Uh, we have our uh, font set up in that way. The last thing you can do is go down to the Save Configuration As. This is a great way, um, once you get all these you know, various random uh, settings just right, uh, once you have those, just go Options, uh, Save Configuration, and make sure you save a configuration for it. Uh, as you see, um, for each sheep we had three different configurations, those are still there, uh, one for each uh, font size. And then you can just load that back every time you open up BM font and not have to go through all this again. Uh, over on the right hand side there's a, a couple options. You can choose to automatically select certain um, certain amounts of these uh, font parts. I find that it usually selects way too much. I have pretty much uh, zero use for most of this. So I usually just turn everything off and select only what I need. Like 
uh, maybe this uh, this font is only going to be used for I know uh, a timer in the game or something special. I'd only need to turn on the numbers. Um, if it's going to be for letters, of course, you can just select those and so forth. And you can click and drag to select more than one item uh, quickly, or just click individually and do the same to turn it off. And whichever uh, items are highlighted, those will end up in your final uh, font output. So there you have it. That's it for that part. Now let's go ahead and export this as an actual font to use. So I'm just going to select everything in this top box up here. It's usually a, a safe bet. Uh, one thing, make sure you get the empty looking box that will always be in the upper left. That is your space and important to have and I've forgotten it once or twice before. So we have that selected. Uh, let's make sure this fits. It does not. So uh, I'm going to make it fit. Again, setting the uh, width or height to be a little bit more. There we go. A little bit wasteful, but just don't really have an option. have to keep it to the uh, power of 2 for now. Okay, so I have it set exactly as I want, and I'm going to go Save Bitmap Font As. And we'll choose a point to put that. And I'd actually like to save it right into this new uh, project that I have in the background. So let's see. Creating a folder in my project, and we'll just call this. Uh, I think the font was called Gunship. And it was size 42, I had set. And click Save. Okay, and then let's open up that folder itself. So there's a little bit of handwork to be done still uh, to get this just right. Uh, number one, the font, uh, BM font will export these two files. Uh, if you have more than one Targa, it means that that your um, your font didn't fit within all uh, a single image. Of course, you have to just uh, update those export options to be a larger uh, size. So the Targa, I just like to remove the zero it adds on the end. And just uh, just to make it look a little better, uh, and then on the dot font item, we actually have to rename this to a dot txt, so that Unity uh, can use it properly. So now we have a target file and a text file, which describes how the font should work. And let's go back to Unity and uh, start using this font. So back in Unity, uh, let's create a font. Uh, I'm sorry, a actual uh, GUI, so we can do some things with this. So go up to NGUI in the top, and down to create a new UI. Uh, simple 2D is fine. Layer default will be fine for now. Uh, we'll just click on create your UI. All right, so we have that. Uh, and then let's uh, set up some NGUI panels. Uh, I like to do in the inspector, so it's easier to uh, control. So NGUI, and then I want, uh, let's see, create a widget. I'm going to drag and drop that down into the inspector there. And I also want the font maker. I'm going to drop that down there. Okay, so creating that font, uh, if we go up uh, back to the project folder, and we just need to drag and drop these two assets right here into the font maker. So drop in the font data for the text asset and the uh, targa into the texture. Then we need to give it a name and this is actually uh, gunship size 42. And we need to bring this window up a bit. Okay. And then we'll just create the font directly. So now uh, we have two new files, this uh, material, Gunship42, and the uh, basically the atlas um, for the font right here with a little prefab icon next to it. I'm going to select both of those and drag and drop them into the font folders just to keep it uh, more organized there. So now that we have a font, we can create uh, some items using it. So let's go to the widget tool 
and right next to the font maker that is. And we're going to choose a font, and it's already actually set there for us, Gunship 42. If it wasn't, you can simply click where it says font and choose any recently used fonts and then click select. If it's not in the recently used font area, uh, just in case, you can simply drag and drop. So grab the font prefab, which is the, the item with a little blue box next to it, and drag and drop it into that font area. And let's create just a simple label in NGUI. I can set the color to anything I want here. Just uh, something like... Oh, it doesn't matter. There we go, that. And click on Add To. And boom, there we have it. So, just like that, our font is in working. Looking good. Um, simple as that in NGUI. Of course, uh, a couple options here. Uh, for the label, we won't really go into it. That'll be for another um, uh, another tutorial. But you see, we can type anything at all um, as long as we added those characters to it. So if we wanted to make this smaller, you can uh, resize it, but it just uh, it doesn't look pixel perfect anymore. It gets a little bit ugly. So generally, um, I can see how nice and crisp this looks here. Uh, if you want to resize something, uh, you'll just have to create another font. So I'd you know go back to BM font and change the uh, the font settings to something like size 20 or whatever. Make a smaller font that I can then import in the exact same way and drop that one in for any smaller fonts. So there you have it, uh, creating and importing a font in NGUI. Uh, look forward to seeing you in any of the other future um, Unity cookie tutorials. Thanks much!